What's up guys, it's Pete here once again for the Gaming Careers YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to add Twitch chat, specifically a completely transparent version of your Twitch chat, into your stream. This is useful because it helps uh, keep chat interaction going. People like seeing their names on the stream, so they'll be more tempted to chat on your stream if they can see it actually in the video and know that their name's going out to all of your viewers. And it's also useful for maybe some of the quieter times during your stream, like uh, queue times or loading screens. It's useful just to have something else there to keep people entertained and to keep the stream going. Now there's a few different ways of doing this and there's a lot of old information on the internet about how to do this because it didn't used to be so easy so that you can see lots of uh, popular guides on uh, using IRC or removing um, the background colour using a green screen and all these kind of things but it's much much simpler now and there are still a few different software solutions but we're going to be going with uh, Streamlabs since we've used their software for so many different um, videos that we've had here on the Gaming Careers YouTube channel. If you haven't seen the other videos on Streamlabs, we've done stream labels, so how you get things like donation amounts, and also stream alerts, how you get like the actual subscription alerts appearing on your screen. So if you haven't checked them out, I'll put them in the top corner. Uh, but for this one, we're going to be talking about their transparent Twitch chat and how to add that to OBS. Finally, if this is your first time at the Gaming Careers YouTube channel, we're a YouTube channel specifically dedicated for you guys to be able to make a profession out of gaming, be it through streaming or through YouTube or through any other means. So if you are new here, take a look around at some of the other videos we've got on the channel and consider subscribing. But uh, let's jump into the video. So the first thing we need to do is to head over to streamlabs.com and you'll be greeted with this welcome screen and we can just click log in to get started. Next, you'll be asked to connect your Streamlabs account with one of their streaming services. So we're gonna use Twitch for this, so just click connect with Twitch. Now, if this is the first time that you've used Streamlabs, you'll have to log into your Twitch account and authorize the Streamlabs application uh, to access some of the API uh, functionality through um, Twitch. But if you've followed some of the videos before, you will have already done this and you should get taken straight through to your dashboard. Next, we need to look down on the left-hand side under the Widgets tab and find Chat Box and select that. Now, you should see a screen similar to this where you will get a preview of um, some Twitch chat, some just randomly generated Twitch chat, uh, as well as some of the options below. This preview here is going to aim to replicate the fonts and theme that you choose so you can get an idea as to what it would look like on your stream. Now the first option that you'll be able to customize is the theme. So if you're a bit of a coder, you can dive right into the deep end with some custom CSS if you'd like. This way you can ensure that you'll have a chat overlay that's completely unique to anyone else on Twitch. But if you're lazy like me, you can see the kind folks at Streamlabs have already made some of the themes for you so you can just browse through some of these options and see how they look in the preview and choose the one that suits your needs best. The next options allow you to choose between which badges you want to show in your stream. So if you check or uncheck these, you should see them appearing and not appearing in the um, preview window above. I recommend having them all enabled because these people have uh, either supported you or supported Twitch uh, indirectly supporting you. So I recommend having these all checked, but obviously it's completely up to you how you want to customize the look of your Twitch overlay. The next options is to enable some additional emotes. Uh, all the Twitch emotes are already included, so people can spam their cappers and you'll see them in your Twitch chat. Uh, but this is an option to enable some extensions if you want to enable more emotes than just the Twitch ones. The next option is for background color. Now, I imagine the majority of people are going to want to have a transparent, um, Twitch chat so it can be overlaid of some sort of design on their stream setup. Um, so if you, that is the option then leave the background colour at black which is all zeros. But if you want to do something more creative and have a certain coloured background then of course you can change that here. Text colour, similar to background colour, customise it if you would like to. I think white and black is the most readable so I'm going to leave mine at the default. And with font size you might want to bump this up just a little bit from 22. Um, but obviously you can come back to these settings and play around with them later. So once we actually get a preview in OBS, you can decide whether or not you want to change the font size and just come back and it will automatically update. The hide messages after option, this allows you to set a timer for how long messages should appear. Now, for busy streamers that are getting lots and lots of chat interaction, obviously um, 
after about 15 seconds there's probably enough chat going on that it's it's been bumped off the list anyway uh, but if you are a smaller stream and not getting quite as much chat then you can set this option here for how long you want the message to do to be displayed for before it disappears um, you can also choose to always show messages um, which can be a useful option uh, if you want to always have some chat appearing on your stream but if it's slow it does look a little bit stagnated so I think the um, hiding messages after around 15 seconds is actually a good choice. Next we get the option to hide some chatters so you can hide the common chat bots. This is a useful option if you don't want you know move bot or night bot commands to be appearing on your stream chat. Obviously they'll still actually be in your Twitch chat but this is just customizing what gets shown in the overlay. You can also choose to hide commands starting with an exclamation mark. Um, so if people are constantly asking your chatbot certain things like what your current rating is or what mouse you use and things like that, and you don't want those clogging up your stream overlay, then you can also hide those commands here. Finally, you get the option to mute certain chatters. Again, this isn't going to mute them from your actual Twitch chat. If you wanted to do that, you'd have to go into your Twitch dashboard. But this allows you to mute certain chatters from your Twitch your Twitch chat overlay that you're going to be streaming with in OBS. Once you're happy with all your settings, click Save Settings and next we will scroll back up to the top and get the link for OBS. So up here at the top we have the widget URL, just click to show the widget URL, select it all and copy it because we will be pasting that into OBS's browser source. So in OBS we're going to select the scene that we want our Twitch chat overlay to be a part of, then go across to Sources, click the plus icon and select browser source. Now if browser source isn't an option for you and I get asked this about 100 times in every OBS video that I do that is just purely because you either downloaded OBS before it was included as part of the OBS Studio package or you didn't select it during installation. So all you need to do is re-download OBS. Don't worry all your settings will uh, prevail so you won't lose anything but in the installation, make sure that you are selecting Browser Source as uh, one of the plugins that you want to install. It should already be selected, um, but you might have just downloaded OBS before it was an included package. Back to OBS, so if you select Browser Source, a new window will pop up. Name it whatever you want to name it. I always recommend naming it something so you know exactly what it is. So I'm going to call mine Twitch Chat and hit OK. In the new window that pops up, you want to be pasting in that long URL from Streamlabs into the URL box. So just as a reminder, go back to Streamlabs, click to show the widget URL, copy the whole thing and paste it into the URL box here in OBS. For width, height, FPS and CSS, feel free to play around with these settings if you want to, but honestly they're absolutely fine as they are, uh, so you can just hit OK. Now what you'll see is a red transparent box which is great. Uh, the reason it's not showing anything is probably because there's not any chat going on in your channel right now. So move this into the position where you think roughly you want the Twitch overlay chat to be and then if we open up our Twitch channel in our browser, so for me I'm going to go to my channel on Twitch. Now if we type in a chat message into our Twitch channel chat, you should see it appearing into OBS as an overlay. So feel free now to play around with the exact positioning where you want it, um, how big you want it, so if you want to scale it bigger you can drag this bottom corner. If you actually just want the font to be bigger, I'd recommend going back into Streamlabs and changing the font size. Um, but really, now is your time to play around, make sure that you're putting it exactly where you want it to be and that it's appearing how you want it to appear. So spend some time typing into your Twitch chat lots of different messages to make sure that you're um, covering all the different scenarios. So people typing long messages, people typing uh, emotes like Kappa um, and all those kind of things. Just make sure that your stream setup is going to be completely ready for the next time you go live and people are going to be amazed by your new Twitch chat overlay. The final thing to mention guys is that you don't need to have the Streamlabs website open for any of this to run now. You can close that down and your Twitch chat will forever be linked to this um, source that you've added to OBS. So you can completely close down the website if you want to and you don't need to do anything at the start of your stream other than just making sure that exactly your sources are in the right order and everything was as, as you last left it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have got to this point in the video, please do give it a thumbs up to show your support. And if you are new here to the Gaming Careers YouTube channel, please do have a look around at all of our other videos. We're basically building up a big catalogue of videos helping you make the most out of your gaming live streams and gaming YouTube channels. So do consider subscribing and subscribers. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.